Want some candy? I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I hear you looking for candy, man, bitch. Give me some sugar, baby. Like scary movies. Uh huh. Want some candy? It's that summertime of year, so have no fear, because another installment of the Summer Slaughter Creatures series is here. That's right, motherfuckers. Welcome back to another episode of Monster Candy Podcast with your faithful hosts, Oubliette Sparks from Tsunami Bomb and back from the dead, apparently. Um, Myself, Screaming E (laughs) from the Memphis Murder Men. And back with us again, the Sultan of the Sea, the man, the myth, the legend, Money Mills. Money Mills. Hercules, Hercules. Yay. (laughs) What is up, my Nubian brother? Man, you know, I'm just feeling blessed and not stressed because I'm on vacation right now. Right? Back on that land. It's lovely. It is lovely. I bet. (laughs) I bet. And Oubliette is back back to the land of the living. <laughs> About halfway. <laughs> the lizard people are trying oh. to get her, everybody, but she is uh she's not having it. No. Yeah, I'm a fighter, you know. She is. <laughs> <laughs> well, well anyway. Oh, I lo- I like spending money too much to die. There see? <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us again. Um, Today, we're going to talk about the 2010 Alexander Aja remake of the, I think it was 1978, Preacher Feature, Piranha. We're going to talk about Piranha 3D. So, hope you guys are ready for that. But first, I think it's time for some... Oh. <laughs> That's right, motherfuckers. Got some horror news. Who wants to go first? I will. Uh, okay, I was gonna say my my ex girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> my dear. Oh, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Do horror, it. Horror news. My bad. Yeah. Horror news. Well, she was in my DMs. Uh, Dirty it's, whore. It's terrifying. So no. I blocked her. There you go. <laughs> you don't need that drama. Nope. No, that's scary. Um, I have a couple. Yeah, yeah. We should let Ublia go first before she expires. We gotta get it out. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we yeah. want her to, but you know, the lizard people are vigilant. Poop so. myself or vomit or lose vision. <laughs> Any, <laughs> anyways. Um. So this is one that. What the fuck? We talk about this all the time. They are rebooting Leprechaun again. <laughs> again? Because that's exactly what we needed. Again. They rebooted Leprechaun with that wrestler. Yeah. Because I mean, it wasn't War- they, there was one where it wasn't Warwick Davis. Right? Yeah, it was the WWE Leprechaun. <laughs> so <laughs> this one <laughs> this one's being directed by the Yeah. I don't know his name. I just saw the WWE thing and it's a thing. Yeah, right. He's, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyways, I, I watched <laughs> it. It wasn't good. Um, so whoever he was, it doesn't matter because it was shit. Um, I'm sure he's a lovely small wrestler. Um anyways. <laughs> You're a lovely small wrestler. <laughs> Got me pot of gold. <laughs> yeah. We men. There it is. Um yeah. Okay. I'm alive. <laughs> listen, but listen, I'm trying to tell you. So it's it's directed by Felipe Vargas, who did Milk Teeth. I didn't see that, so that means nothing. But the screenplay was written by Mike Van Ways, who did Lilo and Stitch. What, what the fuck? 
And then it's being produced by Roy Lee, who did Barbarian. Huh. So there's a lot going on there. <laughs> right. Which which makes me like slightly more intrigued than when I initially read there was a Leprechaun reboot reboot. The Lilo and Stitch thing thing. I'm curious about what Stitch is a fucking monster. Have you seen that movie? That thing is terrifying weird. and just like so annoying. So it could be I mean if they channeled that in the screenwriting, it could be Ugh, cool. I know with his gross addiction to Elvis music. I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> easy, buddy, easy. Yeah. We don't know anyone like that around. Oh my god, am I Stitch or am I Lilo? <laughs> You're Stitch, buddy. Oh, okay. You're Stitch. Hate to break it to you, but fine. Uh, you're just a slightly more calm stitch. <laughs> um, the other one I had is not horror movie news, but it's an experience. So earlier this year, last year, I reported reported on um. <laughs> The Universal Monsters experience is going to be happening in Vegas, done by Universal, and I thought that was really exciting. And then we've seen some cool, um, like, escape rooms and different things coming out, like the It experience where, Mm -hmm. you know, it's escape room, but also with the clowns. Going to be in Chicago, and it's a company called Terror Roulette. And essentially, it is a combination of, like, a maze escape room immersive experience but the whole thing is basically like a choose your own adventure through a living horror movie all right cool. um, sounds cool yeah and it's cute like uh the villain's known as the dealer and he kind of you know has a role in deciding your fate um and he like yeah it almost has kind of like um a, a saw vibe in a way but less torturous but I don't know. I think that if they do it well, it could be really cool. And I think a lot of people are kind of into that kind of thing. Um, so much stuff is like virtual now. It's cool to have stuff that's more realistic and immersive. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be getting stabbed or tortured, but <laughs> unfortunately, cool. that is my largest pet peeve yeah. with uh, the little horror shows you can go to ton of they, houses or whatever that people don't have, actually die well i mean but <laughs> i get that there has to be rules but there should be like you you should be able to pick your 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 rating level you know what i'm saying like right you know, the kids haunted house is pg right the, you know, then you know pg-13 for older kids and you know or if you oh i would i would like to pick my level because every fucking time i get harassed to shit and no one around me does so really i would like to dial that the fuck down yeah yes <laughs> you should be able to choose like you know <laughs> like how raw of an experience you want because the ones the ones in houston maybe like, i like it raw uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah they're they're like whack because you know they, they have all these rules and regulations um because they don't want to get sued so you know like they'll sneak up behind you and they can't like really do much so be like They'll, like try and scare you by going, like you. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Me, got you. Got me. It's terrifying. It reminds me of like, oh no, 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 know? no. See, I have yeah, like, no. I have like the six foot three clown that like comes around the corner and just like in the back of my ear is like, I'm gonna fucking fuck the shit out of you or like some crazy <laughs> shit. Like they always say perverted shit to me or like, I'm gonna fucking cut your head off, but like whisper it right in my ear to where it tickles. Like yeah, that shit is weird. not okay. They don't swear. They don't make any threats because, you know, I mean. Well, you're black, uh, dude. They're scared. No, I mean, it's Texas. They see me and they're like, no. It's open carry. You don't even have to, you know. you That's true. You know, (laughs) people don't play around like that down here. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) So it's all like tame and it pisses me off. (laughs) There's that (laughs) one in Austin that takes over the old mall, though. And that one's fucking scary. Is it? yeah it's like an entire old mall and like i get the one fucking creepiest weirdo that just (laughs) follows me around the whole time and won't leave me alone and and yes i would rather them be able to touch me or hit me or something because that's better than like staying one centimeter away from me for like a fucking mile like that (laughs) shit hurts me like just slap me it's fine i'm cool with it but like fucking whispering in my ear no 
no don't fucking do that buddy it's wrong yeah it's like excuse me <laughs> your balls are showing bumblebee tuna um them haunted houses when like if they're close to me that doesn't necessarily bother me except with it because it's dark like that's the thing that bothers me like when someone's real close it's like i can't see where the fuck i'm going so i'm yeah. tripping over shit but i don't know I, I miss the 80s and the early 90s when <laughs> yeah you know you could push the envelope i was too but... i was too scared of haunted houses then so the first time i went was in like 2003 <laughs> 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 but to my to, hey i will say the first time i ever went in a haunted house because I'm telling you, I'm terrified of them. We went to New Orleans, to the one that's owned by the guys in Pantera that was supposed yeah. to be like the scariest and most brutal. Because I told my husband, like, if we're going to pop my horror house, like haunted house cherry, we're like, we're going to fucking like go to right. some crazy <laughs> shit. Because I'm not going to just half ass this. Like, in case I wanna... it's a one and done, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 A story and tell. that one, and that one, I was not. I was not scared really. Uh I I and my husband discovered when I go to haunted houses I tough talk the actors. Uh <laughs> like if you ever ride a roller coaster with me and I'm scared I start laughing. So in haunted houses uh I kind of like uncomfortably laugh and will be like I see you in that corner like don't you fucking think about it and I'll just do that before they can get me and I'll be like looking around and pop around the corner and be like yeah you fucking baby you eight year old like why are you here where's your mom fuck you and like <laughs> run run past them so, <laughs> so my husband talk to was HR like and get some counseling yeah. after you go through yeah. the haunted house yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying so, to work and this lady's yelling at me <laughs> no I know so I was like so psyched when we got through it I was like yeah because this one it's like a, almost a mile long through all the different houses that you walk through and it's cool too there's heavy metal shit and like titties and like satanic sacrifices but mm -hmm. scary shit too Phil on Selmo but sitting we, in the room just gacked out on pills and like oh my back off. hurts yeah. man <laughs> Sig Heiling into the corner yeah, yeah. um i'm just <laughs> well, kidding it's a joke <laughs> yeah it's a joke <laughs> i'm in the metal band my um, back hurts give me pills <laughs> but uh <laughs> so i get so i get through the whole thing and i'm super psyched that i made it and we're about to watch this like metal show from some old like sludge metal band my husband likes from the 70s or 80s and i was like so what did you think and he was like that was awesome and i was like right like haunted houses are pretty cool and he's like no no haunted houses suck and he's like but going with him with you <laughs> is fucking <laughs> funny as shit and i was like i don't know what you mean and he's like do you not realize what you did the whole time and i'm like uh, I mean, I was like, you know, scouting the premises and making sure no one was going to attack me and just being aware of my surroundings. If that's what you mean. Yeah, I know I was doing that. And he's like, no, you were tough talking every fucking actor that was about to get you. He's like, I've never even seen anyone do anything like that. He's like, we have to keep going. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so then I, then I went with the band and I tried not to at Universal Horror Nights and I did it again. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't help it's, it. I just get this think? like nervous energy. Well, I get nervous and all that happens, it's like I have Tourette's. <laughs> and there and there really was like a young girl at the Universal Hollywood Hollywood one that was or no, Orlando one that was maybe like eight years old. And I did. I was like, where the fuck are your parents? They just let you do this. And Kate was just like, Courtney, come on, come on, let's like get out of the nursery. <laughs> like like um, a caged <laughs> animal. <You're> like, <laughs> And I was like, what? And she just gave me a look. She's like, that was a little brutal. And I'm like, really? Look at our surroundings. You think that was the most brutal thing this kid's dealt with? Like, what the fuck? So Teaching her it. lessons. That's Life lessons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all. Mills, you got anything? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't follow that up. <laughs> all right. All right. I got a couple quick things. Um, so I guess... This is already out. It's streaming on digital and uh, video on demand and DVD. Wow. Um, Kill, Kill your goats? Is that yeah, not, yes. Yes, that is also out, which we have to do. <laughs> believe me. I There's stuff to say about that. And Mills, Mills is going to love it. Um, but no, Fear the Invisible Man. 
They're what? doing another one of those. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Jesus yeah. Where? Fear... Yep. Yes. So, Fear the Invisible Man. Let me give you a little rundown on it. It's uh, coming from Hanover Pictures. A young British widow shelters an old medical school colleague, a man who has somehow turned himself invisible as his isolation grows and his sanity frays. He schemes to create a reign of wanton murder and terror across the city. So I looked at the uh, the trailer a few weeks ago, right before Oubliette had a had a fight with the lizard people. Mm. It looks cool because it's set. It's like Me. you know a period piece, like it's set yeah. back in the day, yeah. and he looks like the Invisible Man, which is cool, yeah. but. Uh, it also depicts him again as this like rapey, like sex offendery guy, which I had never read the novel. And I know the novel is a little more dark than the universal picture where he's just kind of goofy and silly and like, oh, ho, ho, and the creepiest thing he does is like picks up a girl's skirt or whatever, like that type of shit. Um, but I know in the novel, it's a little more sinister, but I don't. I don't know. Every remake, they just really focus on him being some fucking creepy, like creepy raper. So I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. I mean, well, I mean, it's the commentary that's because that, that's like, what... if nobody yeah. could see you, you know, right, right, like, what right. Is our, what is our baser human nature like? What's that default mm -hmm. mode that you would revert to? And frankly, I mean, if if I was randomly invisible and I got bored. <laughs> I'm absolutely. I mean, I, I don't think I'd be rapey, but I would definitely be voyeuristic. I'm, like, I'm gonna go see everybody naked. <laughs> yeah, no, which, I'm which I get, no you know, that's gross. <laughs> but it's like that's the one thing they always seem to focus on and make them like a, a fucking, just uber pervert. But I don't. It, it looks well, all right. I don't know. Look, I think that that's also a sign of our times. As someone who went from you know playing regular shows to playing shows where there's literally safe space tents or like <laughs> yeah. oh lord women posting yeah. online angry because they heard one time one guy in a band that's playing a festival like forcefully kissed a girl or something and they don't want to be at a festival that that guy's at because they could just be like i guess because he just like fuck them on the general admission floor or something i don't know <laughs> if that's what that would be or whatever but like some of the stuff you see right now i think that's just it like so many women it's funny like like with all the shit going on that it doesn't surprise me that they would make the invisible man a rapist because in our current climate women aren't scared of things like nuclear war or getting in a car crash and killing their kids or possibly drinking too much and dying in a stupid fucking way they are scared of rapists and yeah, being raped would totally fucking suck. It's being sexually assaulted does suck, but like it's like this thing now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. No but one I mean, would do anything about that, you know. But even what the fucking um, the Kevin Bacon one, Hollow Man, right? Yeah. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He mm -hmm. was like, he was a real like <laughs> aggressively rapey. He was like, yeah. and then the one that just came out. If it is going to be a horror film, right, you know, and uh, the Invisible Man is the villain, right? What's, right. What's the most horrific thing that you can do while invisible? I mean, robbing a bank like, is a horror, like you know. gut a baby. Yeah. But there's... why Why would you need to be? Like invisible? a woman gives birth and an invisible person just guts a baby because you wouldn't go to prison for it? Duh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's definitely lots of things, but and because you could totally blame it on the mom after that, you could be like, "What did you do?" See, yeah. no, but so that, that's, that's horrific. A, that's a great that's a great twist. Not necessarily just the baby, just like passing everything gross off on other people, like setting them up. You know, it's not. I mean, they, you know, that would be cool. That's what it. Sh I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. It's like do something fucked up, and then like whoever's next to the person gets blamed. Yeah. But I mean. 
but here's the difference too is like yeah the guys they're making it rapey but if it was an invisible woman and she was just like handing out blowjobs it would not be a bad thing <laughs> that would people not would be not movie. be mad about it <laughs> they wouldn't be that scared would be at all <laughs> no totally <laughs> not, not scared that's not I saying know. that guys cannot be raped however uh <laughs> Every guy's fantasy, it, deep down in the back corner of his mind, is just to have a, a ghost give him a blowjob just right. Like, oh of my course, god, because that's happening not right cheating. Now? There's nobody around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> I always think of those like uh, the the suck you by or whatever, and all those reenactment shows where it's like. Oh, the the guy was getting all sexually molested by the the ghost woman, but it's like this super mm-hmm. unattractive, just like grotesque corpse lady. I'm like, yeah. ah, what if that's sucking on my willy? <laughs> um. Yeah. So so yeah. Anyway, I mean, okay. So I think he's the weirdo here because I, yeah. I want to say that I feel like most guys would totally be cool if they were just like on the computer and then felt like they were being fucked or sucked off yeah i mean probably that was the best day of my life yeah you're like whoa what happened (laughs) she she runs around you'd be on the golf course with your friends like man this one time i was just (laughs) doing my taxes and all of a sudden this you know it was like i was being fucked (laughs) he runs around and pegs all the guys that would be a horror movie Uh Uh, that would be cool Crying in the shower. It would be like the I spit on your grave, invisible yes. woman kind of thing. Yeah. 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 That would there be fun. Go. There you go. Um yeah. so I don't know. I like I said, it's out already, especially weird w- when this one comes out. Yeah, but right to digital and DVD, which is that's weird. Um but I don't know, like I said, the trailer looked cool, so at least it wasn't some like <laughs> weirdo in a fucking tech suit <laughs> that was so bad yeah <laughs> that one was so bad <laughs> uh, and then uh my <laughs> other one i have is just a little a little fucking review on the living dead weekend which i was out of town back home in pittsburgh for uh at the monroe mall it was the 45th anniversary reunion thing at dawn of the dead and it had literally I don't know. There was a shit ton of guests from the movie Savini, fucking Forey, like everybody from it. And the panels were cool. I don't know. If you have never checked it out, do so. It's it's a fun little con that happens in the mall. So nice. that was cool. And uh, that's, that's all I got for horror news. Anyone else? That we can't see, maybe? And it's not currently <laughs> raping us? <laughs> Or currently <laughs> raping us, who knows? Like whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think so. All right, well, that's been horror news. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Now it's time to get into the Piranha Three D and talk about some goddess aquatic bitches. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, you know this is this is the perfect film to start off the the fucking summer slaughter creature series. Is this like a so bad it's good scenario? I don't, here? dude. I don't know because I, like there's, I kind of like it. <laughs> there's like a um a genre of horror that I appreciate where you know like it knows what it is and it's like you know purposefully tacky and. And all that kind of stuff, and uh, this one definitely kind of falls into that. Yeah, that, so uh, <laughs> you know. it 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 definitely does. So Alexander Aja, we've talked about before because he did the the Hills Have Eyes remake and High Tension and some other things. Mm-hmm. This Oubliette, you brought something up when we were talking about doing this. Is it a thousand percent? seems like it's a 90s movie yeah totally like every like everything even the way it looks peak I'm like, 90s yeah jerry o'connell 90s yeah. <laughs> elizabeth shoe 90s yeah and i don't even the wardrobes i'm like 2010 i don't remember like it was it looked like a it looked like clueless 
Yeah. I I didn't believe you actually when you said it and had to look at back like look at it again and make sure it wasn't like recorded back then and released later. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's... 2010. Um, but was it did... supposed to take place in 2000? I feel like yeah. That's the real question. I feel like yeah. I mean, all indications. Um, do you want do you want to read the uh, the synopsis? Yeah. Or did Mills just say yes? Or no. am I doing that? <laughs> okay. Uh, it made it sound like you did. Yeah. Well, I, I, I meant do you want to? <laughs> okay. uh, this synopsis is dumb. We're not reading that one. <laughs> <laughs> it just said it's a remake and that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> After a sudden underwater tremor sets free scores of the prehistoric man-eating fish, an unlikely group of strangers must band together to stop themselves from becoming fish food for the area's new razor tooth residents. That doesn't really say enough. It's fucking spring break. There is like a boat yeah. with some porn stars and Jerry O'Connell. There's some cocaine, I think. I remember Definitely lots of cocaine. cocaine. Definitely cocaine. There's like young children being abandoned due to a brother wanting to hang out with people with cocaine, mainly because they have boobs too. And then there's fish that kill people and Doc Brown is in it. Yep. And the comedian with a gap in his teeth. And yeah, the Elizabeth Shue. Shoe. Yeah. Yeah. And doesn't it and doesn't it open with uh, Richard Dreyfus? Yes. Yes. Nodding to Jaws. Yeah. yeah. See, this is a this is like a fucking nineties classic that was right? made in two thousand ten. <laughs> and Dina Meyer, my like crush. Oh. And she dies, and that sucks. But she was one of the reasons. <laughs> one of the things I liked about this movie was she was in it. I forgot she was in it. That's right. Yeah. So she got the shit in the stick in Star Troopers. But okay, we're not talking totally. about that. Yeah. Um. All right. That do, fucking movie. Do, do we want to talk about what we liked about it first, or what we didn't like about it first? Dealer's I mean, choice. both are kind of short lists. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's. Oh man, this stuff. Let's go with our likes. It'll be more entertaining to shit on it at the end. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, M- Mills. What'd you like about it? Jerry O'Connell plays the perfect sleazebag. You like, yes, <laughs> it is so believable. It's he might it's be so, playing himself. That's what I'm saying. It's so believable. It's like a King Joffrey performance. You're like, that's gotta <laughs> be you, bro. That's gotta be you. Yep. You know, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. so that that was definitely great. Um, it's got Steve McQueen's grandson, Stephen McC- McQueen, which is. Just a cool little fun fact as our little hero. I thought the casting was was great. We got Ving Rhames. Like, he always nails pretty much everything he's in. You know, the cast is pretty fucking stacked. Like, when you look at it, it's kind of shocking. Um, Dude, that's, that's yeah, something. Adam I, Scott, Eli yeah, Roth. I, I wanted yeah. to say something about that is how could, like, okay. Granted, it's 2010. And all these actors aren't at their peak. But... Still, there's a shitload of them. How'd they afford that? And yeah. like the you whole you, you can't call it B list, like that's you, right. like A minus, you know? Right. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're like like royalty, I would say. Like Elizabeth yeah. Shoe. Like there's you know, yeah. people have done a lot of stuff. But I was like, dude, that's a I don't know exactly what the budget was, but yeah, but go, go I think it was it was twenty four million, and in the U.S. Jeez, and Europe they made twenty five million, but then the total ended up being eighty million. But look, when you see things like Sausage Party and all these other movies, like with some of the groups being friends, it almost makes me think that movies like this, that these people were friends outside the movie, maybe with the director mm-hmm. or the writer, and everybody was getting stoned at some party. And the guy made a pitch and was like, "Nobody's gonna fucking fund this, but if they do, it's gonna be shit." And everyone was just like. Fuck yeah, let's do right. it. Right. Well, that's yeah. that's or what he, I kind of thought. Or they have dirt on them. Or that. But yeah, I was I was like, they had to have done this on like the cheap. Like, dude, right. I would love and Adam Scott from Parks and Rec. I was like, yeah. what? Come on. Everybody. <laughs> like, everybody. <laughs> so mean, there's so many actors in this. <laughs> my my memory's a little fuzzy. In 2010, because obviously Jerry O'Connell's uh character was based on what's his nuts from girls, yeah, Gone, girls Wild. Wild. 
Was that still a thing yeah. in 2010? It's or was... still a thing today. <laughs> is it? No, it's, oh, no, that, it? no, that yeah, dude went to jail or, or had all that court shit. Yeah. Now he's living on some fucking island. Yeah, that's right. But still. Yeah. I mean, oh, wait, of... shit. That wasn't until 2015 when he was what? sentenced to jail. Why okay. does that feel like it was in the Dude, 90s? Dude, the, sim- the simulation is fucking, is fucking up because that seems like it's super long ago. <laughs> I remember when we first got into like, you know, burning DVDs and CDs and all that stuff. And one of my roommates burned all the fucking girls gone wild because his <laughs> brother had given him like one VHS. And he loved it. And every time I came home from work, he was watching it. And he finally realized like nine of them in that every single one had clips from the same time as the other yeah. ones. Right. And like some of them repeated. Oh, so bad. <laughs> yeah. So bad. I wonder where all those women are. What where are they all up to today? Yeah. That's what we should do. We should start a podcast interviewing. <laughs> Um, OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. Only fans. That's where they're at. I, think I don't, might I, be don't able... I don't no, I don't. I think they're doing something else. <laughs> and I want to know what. So if yeah, you're listening yeah. to this and you were on Girls Gone Wild and you should email us because I have an idea. <laughs> what what else did you like about it, Mills? Oh yeah, I was done. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean that's okay. Oh wait. I have a name. Okay. Girls gone grown up. This is oh, gonna be so yeah. good. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be heartwarming. And, Trailer parks in Kansas. There I we mean, go. You know, it's because I because I already mentioned that it, you know it's kind of like so bad that it's good, you know. And then there's just like uh, motherfuckers that like the casting is so deep that you know you have very very small <clears throat> small instances of absolute shit acting, right? It, like right. you have your your one porn star quota, <laughs> right? <laughs> to, to legitimize yep. the film. Who is and, it? Uh, Who's that? Jesse Michaels or something? Or I Riley Steele? I mean, go, not yeah. that I, not that I know her name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I I didn't do say. any extensive uh-huh. research for this podcast because, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just prepared. You know, uh, <laughs> I feel like did your research. Good man. <laughs> I feel like you, you can go too far down that avenue where, like, you think that's the thing that's attracting the movie. No, like it's supposed to be wild and like ridiculous so that's why like the blood is to the max and if we're gonna show nudity why not get a porn star i mean you don't need right to fuck up the acting with a whole bunch of them but yeah throw throw the girl a bone you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> figuratively <laughs> and literally <laughs> uh, so i had a good mix of that um the little jaws tie-in was you know fun if not stupid but i mean that's <laughs> what this movie is supposed to be it's supposed right. to be Fun and stupid. So, right. as far as that goes, <laughs> the fact that I had to watch this so many times probably <laughs> like taints that experience of it being fun and whimsical for me. But yeah. I do remember seeing it originally when it came out, and um, then I we attempted to do a podcast on it a while ago, so I watched it again, mm-hmm. and those two experiences. Uh, we're fun. Every time I've watched it since then, it's been less fun. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable, <laughs> dude. And, and my like, my likes list is about as short. Like, I like Jerry O'Connell. I think he was probably the best part of this movie. His character was hilarious. Uh, Ving Rhames is cool. Dina Meyer, I just love looking at her and boobs. I guess was. Yeah. cool about it and then that's got a glass <laughs> bottom boat <laughs> <laughs> of course you do of course that's yeah. jerry's own boat for sure oh uh, yeah i don't know and yeah i mean like you said it is what it is as far as the movie goes it's it's a silly schlocky splatterhouse type movie so i mean the bar isn't too high what about you Uliet? Um. So I loved the way that the piranhas looked because yes. they looked like dinosaurs. They did look cool. I will and give it that. And I like monsters and dinosaurs. Yes. And some of the other movies where they looked more like just bigger fish or fish with teeth, like regular piranhas is like, meh. I mean, unless it's more serious. But because this was so campy, I felt like they did a good job 
make him these crazy looking things with big old foreheads. And uh, I also liked how silly it was. Um, Jerry O'Connell is definitely a standout. <laughs> um, hey, my dick. <laughs> hey, my dick. <laughs> yeah, he's just so... He's so bad that it's so good. Um, with, uh, if you, you removed you just, him from this movie, like I don't even know. It'd be hard to watch. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're yeah. just rooting for him to get chewed the fuck up. You're like, oh, come on. Get him. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love the random cameos and the cast they got. I like the cinematography, too, and I like the shots. I think it's... Yeah went really well at the like kind of campiness and um nodding to some of the old creature feature type movies of like the 70s and 80s when they started doing the like creep up on things and kind of um, just the way they shoot it right uh, um and yeah i think it's i think it's fun um i'm glad that i didn't watch it a couple more times <laughs> before we did this <laughs> only because <laughs> when i when I had rewatched it to watch it for this, because I had seen it a long time ago, I was actually pleasantly surprised and liked it more than I remembered liking it and had fun watching it and laughed. Um, that being <laughs> said, I'll go to what I don't like about it. Um, I I don't think this is a movie that you want to watch more than once every 10 years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Unless you have to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's playing at a party or something, like you're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, this part coming up is funny," but um, it's funny because it's playing behind me right now as we're recording this, and I keep <laughs> paying attention as we were talking about other things and doing horror moves, and horror news, and I'm like, "Yeah, you know, I really didn't uh, forget any of this. It's pretty like right. um, pedestrian with its humor and what's gonna happen, yeah. and you know what's going on. Like you can kind of see it once and." <laughs> not forget anything um (laughs) never see it ever ever again um, right um i i think that is a tragedy that that tara reed was not cast in this movie facts (laughs) she she was actually upset she wasn't cast in the movie because she thought she was gonna be if if you look back on it and i remember when this whole thing came out uh like everyone tagged her for it and she was not so I don't know if I love it more that she wasn't cast or was and thought she was going to, you know, whatever, but <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like they could have um, figured out something for her, even like, oh, you yeah. know, picking picking something up off the beach or just like a one liner. This movie screams Tara reads. So I, you know yeah. why? Um, and then I fucking hated <clears throat> the kid. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Like he's just, I mean, I know they're making him a dumbass kid that's just sex hungry or whatever, but like and this whole movie is like a, a longer version of a Baywatch episode. Yeah. <laughs> and um and as funny as that can be, it also gets really tiresome Which, with the overacting when they're not good at it. That now that you bring that up, how the fuck was David Hasselhoff not in this movie? True. <laughs> Yeah, great. the Hoff, the Hoff would have been amazing, and at least even a cameo. Yeah, but yeah, like I think, I think bad acting and overacting, you know, there's a fine line, and the, the younger people in this movie don't have that comedic balance like Jerry right, O'Connell right. does, and like the others do. So I just found myself, especially the whole side story with him and the two two siblings, it just like was dumb. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah agreed and, yeah, they, and totally they unnecessary part. yeah okay. all, all it was was to, to tie elizabeth shoe into it more yes. because she was right. one of the main actresses like if she wasn't in it they wouldn't have had to do that bullshit and like yeah. that whole thing could have been kind of i don't know yeah the filler I, was whatever i thought they could have camped it up more more boobs more gore more fun and sure. get rid of the kids yeah yeah fuck the because that's what i want to i mean see. not not literally uh, but like, i, I want to transition forget about from them one from a titty exactly. shot to uh, an eight-year-old and his sister stranded on a uh, that, that that that's cool. Yeah, the toe-headed <laughs> twins. No, yeah, it's like village of it's like village of the damned, and then titties, and you don't yeah. know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, gross. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it shows how much times have changed to where you would even put kids in a movie in a scenario 
where they're around a bunch of titties and cocaine and this obviously this fucking like pervert filmmaker porno guy <laughs> they're like they're like mom what's this movie yeah. about that i'm shooting don't worry about it just yeah read the lines and get the fuck off set <laughs> make me money you little slave i don't know i don't i would like didn't like almost anything about this movie aside yeah. from what we, <laughs> we talked about i mean the cgi was horrible oh my god yes so that's the other thing too right like <laughs> is i just don't understand why everybody gets so so excited about new technology like i would prefer if you would take what you can do and do well and do that you know just because you know it's new doesn't mean that it's effective you know like i don't want to see you right. harrison ford because it still doesn't look right you know what i'm saying like if, yeah. if there is ever a point <laughs> when it's effective okay then use that there's there's also ways to mask things that are less effective like when they do the the blood cloud and it's murky or whatever and you have the cgi it's way more effective than the other shots where they're like in the open and just swimming you're like oh it looks so bad sometimes (laughs) yeah 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 and like ubi had said like the the actual fish look fucking super rad Mm-hmm. But it's, you know, fucking 2010 and the CGI. I mean, they probably didn't have the money to do the best CGI to spend yeah. that much money on it. So it was what it was. But but Star know. Wars, the original Star Wars still looks dope. Yeah. Because they just, if they if they couldn't do it and make it look good, they di- didn't do it. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Not yeah, this movie. The day, at the end of the day, like whatever effects that you're using, you, you have to be able to execute them to where it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Like this movie, I think it was one oubliette kind of alluded to before. Like if you're with a bunch of friends and it's on, it's a movie you could talk shit about and watch and be like, oh my God, that's fucking stupid. Look at that. Like, yeah, that's the kind of movie. I mean, it's fun and it's goofy and silly. And Jerry O'Connell is like the the best part of the movie <laughs> but everything everything else is just kind of and being rames is cool like the i don't know it has good aspects of it but it just is what it is it's like a goofy piece of shit <laughs> yes <laughs> but like a piece of shit that you don't want to necessarily throw away completely you're just like yeah i'm I just gonna like... stick i'm gonna let this piece of shit ferment for you know, 10 years until I have to look at it again. Yeah, I'm not pissed off that I watched it because I like shitty horror films. Right, <laughs> like right. That. Like, I do. I like shitty horror films like that. They're actually some of my, like, guilty pleasures. Like, you know, like, I'm kind of tired and I don't want to mentally check into a movie. That's a perfect, you know, it's like right. decompression time. Just put on something. Oh, yeah, you fun. don't. You know. <laughs> you don't have to think one bit with this movie. No. Yeah. In fact, it's more enjoyable if you just shut your brain off and watch it. Right, right. And I mean, yes. Cool kill scenes, the fucking rotor with the hair. I mean, yeah. that's always Oh, that was you know. that was grimy. That was that was done well. Yeah. Uh when, once they hit the mayhem at the the main celebration and <laughs> all hell was breaking <laughs> loose. That was fun. That was incredibly fun. Uh yeah. That was bad. <laughs> oh, oh, one thing I did like that they used the like the fucking, I'm gonna tie a rope to myself, and you're gonna pull me out with the boat, like they did in the original. Yeah. Like, I like, you know, that was that was a cool yeah, little nod. throwback. Yeah, but I just wish both of those kids would have never made it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, you know, Same. I feel like that should be a rule. If you're gonna put little kids in horror movies, like they should be maimed horrifically. And, yeah, you know, it's <laughs> what you get, you little shit. I'm trying to be an adult right now. (laughs) Yeah. And, okay. Remember when they were trying to get his, like, non-girlfriend girlfriend girlfriend out? And they're, like, pulling the little fucking, the little porthole window thing up? It's not like it's fucking reinforced steel hinges or whatever. Like, how the fuck couldn't you just rip that, rip it off? (laughs) I'm like, they're, like, trying to pry it open with oars and stuff. I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's not that <laughs> strong, no. <laughs> but uh, that was me thinking too much. 
yeah. had to turn it yeah. off. I'm like, what are you doing? Stop thinking there's any rationale to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anyone else have anything to say about this masterpiece? I feel like it, it would have only been better if they had like uh, <laughs> a break in the in the big party, like the party boat on the water scene right before uh, Prana's got them and uh, had had a little live performance from uh, the guys from Crazy Town. Oh, been, okay. Can we talk perfect. about Crazy Town oh. a little bit? <laughs> come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly. Sugar. That's them, right? Yes. 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 Lefty shizzle nut or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so ha- have, have you seen Shifty all... Shell Shock? Yeah. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Have you seen all the <laughs> fucking clips of them like fighting backstage? And oh, all yeah. This Oh, dude, oh yeah, such a train wreck. and then them like bleeding, being like, "We're friends, we're friends, yeah. it's fine." Like, I, I don't want to do this, bro. I love you, bro. Uh-huh. I don't want to fight and you. Please, I love please you, man. My money. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then the next day, the tour was canceled. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was great. Uh, but yeah, that uh, would have been good. It's like they 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 fill out the meth tree and Maybe. hit every branch on the way down. Oh my god. <laughs> But hey, have you guys seen the sequel to this? Maybe they were in that. Three <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. Um, that is a fantastic title, though. <laughs> right, three double D. Uh, yeah. <laughs> speaking of the soundtracks, so like, I never paid attention to it before, but something caught my ear, and I'm like, "Is that Mickey Avalon?" Not that I'm a Mickey Avalon <laughs> fan, but I'm like. <laughs> but like I love every that one song <laughs> yeah but like every every like hip hop hip hop ish sounding song in this movie sounds exactly like the Avalon. same yeah, and it sounds like mickey mm-hmm. avalon and i checked and none of them are in fact mickey avalon I was holy like, shit what? <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> like that's weird and then they have like an aim and armoth fucking jam at the end of it i'm like yeah all right for how <laughs> Oh, yeah. it definitely yeah. feels like something that you like you said that uh <laughs> they got suckered into doing <laughs> like, yeah how'd you get it's richard like... dreyfus and doc brown you know what I'm saying? like how'd you get both of those guys <laughs> well especially okay. yeah this the the fucking director like how did he pull all this stuff off yeah <laughs> it's definitely impressive <laughs> I mean, wait, was this so 2010? Was this before the Hills Has Eyes remake? Yeah, yeah, it was the Hills way Have Eyes. Yeah, no, it's gotta be. I don't know, we're gonna find out. No, Hills Have Eyes remake was before 2010. Yeah, yeah. wasn't it like 2007 or something like that? Wasn't it? I forget. Yes, 2007. Okay, oh, okay. I know because That's it was surprising. before the timeline of my husband, oh. right. Oh well, yeah, I mean he's been doing stuff for like a while. 2006, high tension was 2013 or 2003, mm-hmm. and then there's a, yeah. I mean, I like high tension. High tension was good. I actually like the Hills Have Eyes remake too. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I he's still boy. <laughs> he, he still scored with his fucking cast again. Yeah. Like I said, they had to have been like. This will be fucking hilarious and fun because it does look like it would probably have been a blast to make. Yes. And I love how this is from that era where it was just cool to name drop with a cameo Eli Roth, like he was doing all that shit. <laughs> like he'd, yeah. like he'd, he was popping up in randomly so many horror movies because he put out, you know. Which he probably did for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But th- like, oh, th- yeah. Th- it's it was like, it like the cosign. Like, you can't. It was be... probably a trade. Like, I'll be in this, but. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know. They don't. Yeah. They, they really stopped doing that, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Not, now he's the bear Jew and he's too good for it. So, whatever. Well, so no, that... now, he has a, now he has a new vanity project. Oh, really? Have you not seen it pop up on our uh, server? He has a new series all about real life exorcisms and exorcists and Ooh. the demons inside. And it's Ooh. super artsy. Oh. Just like his last fucking series he came out with. Yeah. That was basically a fucking lifetime. Fucking <sighs> Just what we need more of. 
Well, you know, you get rich enough, you learn how to suck your own dick. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, he's a He's all about sucking the dick of that guy with that paranormal museum in Las Vegas. Oh, I feel like he keeps oh, yeah. doing all these series to that get he can help, people yeah. out. Yeah. Because yeah. that dude's always a part of him. And he's like, <laughs> and my friend who's an expert. And I'm like, no, your friend is some dude with way too much fucking money that just like buys shit that's supposed to be possessed. He's not an expert. He's just rich. There's a total difference. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking Eli totally Roth. difference. Eli Roth's character, wet t-shirt host. Yeah. <laughs> and I, know, I like that he made sure it was credited too. Uh-huh. <laughs> he was like, fuck. I'll do it for free, but I need yeah. a credit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if you look at, I guess because he's a, one of the bigger stars, but yeah, I, IMDb, he's like the fourth fucking, fourth or fifth actor up in it, and he's in there for 30 seconds second? maybe. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but if you look at his uh his little uh his hot meter, he's like in the six hundreds or something. There's actually like I think ten people in what this. What do you movie. mean hot meter? On the they give you a ranking of your little buzz on an IMDb. I'm actually higher than like oh. ten people on this film, which makes me super stroked with my ego. That's great. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, this fucking movie. Um all right. I never knew that. <laughs> I check in with it every single day. I think it's time to rate this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's rate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> El- no, hold on. It's Eli Roth presents The Legion of Exorcists. That's oh. his new show. <laughs> I, mean, I, I love like... how they have to do the so and so presents. I mean, sometimes, mm-hmm. it very rarely does that actually work out cool. Most of the time, it's like, mm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. No, and the other one I the other one I watched that was fucking shit was Eli Roth presents a ghost ruined my life and the haunted <laughs> the haunted ghost museum and then the history of horror and they were all sucked. Damn. Yeah. History of horror was okay. But the yeah. rest are like lifetime fucking or like sci there's shitty TV shows. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he's not he's not not doing too hot. So who wants to go first with the candy corn? Giant fake titty bikini clad candy corn. Who wants to go first? I give it a two. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not okay. Uh, All right. I, I enjoyed it my original time watching it because uh because I was like young, you know. Yeah. And, and it was of the time. And yeah. then and watching it again. Titties. Yeah, watching again. I was like, oh yeah, I remember this. It was cool. And then yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't want to watch it multiple times. So, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Uliet. I don't think it's like a double A, but I think it's definitely like an okay sized A cup. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Which I've seen some like nice full A's. Okay. All right. I don't know that these are nice full A's, but they're like medium ish A's. So, so- like. So it's like a 1.75. Okay. I'd look at them. Look at them again. <laughs> That's a bad analogy because I I don't care if it's like a, just a nipple. I'll still watch it. I'll st- <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting naughty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So one- For those of you who can't see us, he just, he just showed... A nipple, ah, not both, just ah, just a single, ah. a single, a ah, single. Uh, okay, That's one how they sem- see it in the bird, the right? Head. <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. All right, so I'm gonna give it a one and a half. Giant titty mm-hmm. bikini clad candy corns, which because I think honestly, I think two is like the ceiling for this movie. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like I'm like it's yeah. that's all you're getting out of it, and for sure, if the CG see. Man, there's you could fuck up CGI. So yeah, there's there's a way to make bad CGI <laughs> look funny at least. Yeah. And this just didn't do it, it just sucked. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's so. it's one of those movies too that there is definitely a path forward and like it to lay people 
are like, oh, you should have done this and it would have been better. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's, yeah. there's some movies that I watch and it's bad. I'm like, I don't even know what you would do to make this better, but burn it. it. Yeah, it's a little it's a little frustrating because it it seems like it'd I, be pretty easy to make it better. <laughs> I yeah. know, but these kinds of movies too, some of them do just have a ceiling, even if they were great. That's true yeah. for what they were. Yeah. Yeah. And I like you they know. set they set up enough limitations for themselves to make sure this wouldn't <laughs> yeah. be. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. <Yeah. laughs> it this is definitely one of those movies where you go say it it was what it was. And that's the piranha, it's not it's not us, it's you. It's yeah. you. <laughs> we know it's not us. But we still like you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could see how people would think it's fun or be into it. Like, oh my God, you see this. It is fun. It's fun. Yeah, I guess. Maybe it's because I had to watch it like three (laughs) times already. I'm like, oh my God, I can't anymore. Fuck this movie. Yeah. But I do feel like I was trying to remember my original rating from the first time I watched it. Right, I'm <laughs> you know? sure. I'm sure it was higher. <laughs> probably no, no, no. It was probably about two. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was trying to. Uh, yeah, because the last yeah. time I watched, it, I was like, "Motherfucker." <laughs> well, so I mean, it comes out to like a one seven five, one and three okay. quarters candy corns, which, for a movie that has a ceiling of two, is great. Okay. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people have. And this have... director has a new movie coming out too. He does. I, I'd watch it. <laughs> have you guys heard? Have you guys heard about this? Well, he did. He did crawl, which I didn't know until oh. I just oh, yeah, looked yeah. it up, and I'm like, Ugh, of course he did. But it just reminded <laughs> me of his new movie because we were talking about Crazy Town, which also <laughs> reminds, which this is my brain reminds me of Limp Biscuit. Yes, which reminds me of Halle Berry because she fell for Fred Durst and that stupid dumb music video of that pale blue eyes cover he did from the horror movie she did. She right. is the lead star in this director's new horror movie, and it's about a family that's been haunted by an evil spirit for years. Seems very original. There's Isn't this gothic surrounding... <laughs> Come into question, yes, when one of the children's questions if the evil is real. So yeah, gothic too. Yeah. <laughs> Well then, nice. I guess we'll be watching that at some point. <laughs> so. I only have one word of advice for everybody <laughs> out there: if you're excited about seeing Big Man, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> yeah, We're wait going. and watch it at home <laughs> if you watch it at all. Yeah, I've I've not heard one good review about it. Oh no. <laughs> I was so excited and my poor heart was crushed and my husband like watched to get crushed through watching the movie. So Oh yeah. no. Yeah. The so. first twenty minutes is awesome. Well there you go. Then then just turn it off. <laughs> mm-hmm. You heard it here first first folks. Ferks, Ferks. Ferks, Ferks. Uh <laughs> He's been in Pittsburgh for too long, guys. Yeah. <laughs> His mouth is full of rocks again. <laughs> and a cough drop at the moment. Mine too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not not for any sickness, just to coat my throat. A good recall. Yeah, so, a so you guys can so you guys can enjoy the soothing sounds of our voices. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, I don't know. And, and here comes the ASMR segment of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could just make predator noises and weird alien clicks and people might pay us for it. Man. Horror ASMR, that could be cool. Yeah. <laughs> you, you fucking weirdos out there. A lot of you weirdos out there. All right, everybody. Really? So, yeah, I don't know if you haven't gone to see this or have seen it. Back in 2010, even though it seems like it should have been in like 1997, but right. the ma- <laughs> the matrix is folding in on itself, so time doesn't really exist. Um, if you haven't, check it out at your own risk. I don't. Mm-hmm. It'll at least be fun and amusing. If you could get anything out of it, even if you're yeah. like, "This is stupid," but it, there's it boobs in it. If you smoke, if you smoke pot, like get high first. Definitely. <laughs> 
Jerry O'Connell it'll, is good in it. He's it'll great. just make you crave the Piranha Three Triple Ds. There you uh, go, starring dude from Crazy Town. You know, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. Great. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, thanks everyone for hanging out with us, Mills. Thanks for for joining us again, yeah. and fucking hanging out, <laughs> talking about this shit house movie. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you to Oubliette for making it through the fucking assault by the lizard people. Yeah. <laughs> Adrenochrome. You got you got to get on that. It's the key. So Just send me some baby blood, people. There you go. <laughs> and you do your own research. <laughs> on that <laughs> note, everybody, we'll see you next time for the oh, next he's frozen. Oh, no, he's back. episode <laughs> of Monster <laughs> Candy <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> I can tell when it's real. Well, now. Hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I hear you're looking for candy, man, bitch. Give me some sugar, baby. Like scary movies. Uh huh. Like some candy.